ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय बढ़ियान बढ़ियान ईशा ईशा ते ते प्रश्न हां प्रश्न हां कृतो कृतो लोक हितम लोक हितम निपा निपा आपोबित आपोबित सम्मता सम्मता पुंशां पुंशां सूतो व्यादिशु सूतो व्यादिशु जा जा परा परा बरियाने सते प्रश्न बरियाने सते प्रश्न कितोलो को हितं निपा कितोलो को हितं निपा आतो भी सम्मतो पंक्षां आतो भी सम्मतो पंक्षां सूतो ब्यादी सूजा परा सूतो ब्यादी सूजा परा बरियाने सते प्रश्न बरियाने सते प्रश्न कितोलो को हितं निपा कितोलो को हितं निपा आत्मविद सम्मतो प्रश्न आत्मविद सम्मता पंक्षा सूतो ब्यादी सूजा परा सूतो ब्यादी सूजा परा सूतो ब्यादी निराजेंद्रा सूतो ब्यादी निराजेंद्रा निरांग संति सहस्सा निरांग संति सहस्सा आपस्सता मात्मतत्तम आपस्सता मात्मतत्तम ग्रीहेशु ग्रीहमेदिना ग्रीहेशु ग्रीहमेदिना सूतो ब्यादी निराजेंद्रा सूतो ब्यादी निराजेंद्रा निरांग संति सहस्सा निरांग संति सहस्सा आपस्सता मात्मतत्तम आपस्सता मात्मतत्तम ग्रीहेशु ग्रीहमेदिना ग्रीहेशु ग्रीहमेदिना सूतो ब्यादी निराजेंद्रा सूतो ब्यादी निराजेंद्रा निरांग संति सहस्सा निरांग संति सहस्सा आपस्सता मात्मतत्तम आपस्सता मात्मतत्तम ग्रीहेशु ग्रीहमेदिना ग्रीहेशु ग्रीहमेदिना निद्रिया निद्रिया यति यति नक्तं नक्तं बाबाइना बाबाइना चा चा बाबाया बाबाया दीवा दीवा चार्ते हया चार्ते हया राजन राजन कुटुंबा कुटुंबा भरणीनवा भरणीनवा निद्रया यति नक्तं निद्रया यति नक्तं बाबाई न चावा बाया बाबाई न चावा बाया दीवा चार्ते हया राजन दीवा चार्ते हया राजन कुटुंबा भरणीनवा कुटुंबा भरणीनवा निद्रया यति नक्तं निद्रया यति नक्तं बाबाई न चावा बाया बाबाई न चावा बाया दीवा चार्ते हया राजन दीवा चार्ते हया राजन कुटुंबा भरणीनवा कुटुंबा भरणीनवा दीहा पत्र कलत्रादिशु दीहा पत्र कलत्रादिशु आत्मसंन्यासु असस्सु अपि आत्मसंन्यासु असस्सु अपि तेजां प्रमत्त निधनं तेजां प्रमत्त निधनं पश्चन्न अपि न पश्चति पश्चन्न अपि न पश्चति दीहा पत्र कलत्रादिशु दीहा पत्र कलत्रादिशु आत्मसंन्यासु असस्सु अपि आत्मसंन्यासु असस्सु अपि तेजां प्रमत्त निधनं तेजां प्रमत्त निधनं पश्चन्न अपि न पश्चति पश्चन्न अपि न पश्चति दीहा पत्र कलत्रादिशु दीहा पत्र कलत्रादिशु आत्म सन्नेशु असस्सु अभि आत्म सन्नेशु असस्सु अभि तीसां प्रमत्तं निधनों तीसां प्रमत्तों निधनां पश्चन्न अभि न पश्चति पश्चन्न अभि न पश्चति तस्माद् भारत सर्वात्मा तस्माद् भारत सर्वात्मा भगवान् ईश्वरो हरि भगवान् ईश्वरो हरि सूतब्या कीर्तिता भस्या सूतब्या कीर्तिता भस्या सर्वस्मर्तबस 
ृष्णाकृतोलोपितृतुव्यादीसुजापराट सुखदेव गोस्वामी श्री सुख उवाच सुखदेव गोस्वामी दे एक्सेप्ट स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर ऑफ किंग परीक्षित he replied <coughs> to his inquiry what is the duty of a person who is going to die parikit maharaj was going to die within 7 days he was cursed by a brahmana boy to die within 7 days The reason is that the king was in the forest engaged in hunting, and when he became tired, he went to the cottage of a sage and asked him for water. But the sage. was absorbed in meditation could not hear him so parikit maharaj being thirsty and became angry and there was a dead snake so he out of negligence he took the dead snake and uh, wrapped over the neck of the meditating sage this news was Or spread, and his son, twelve years old only, he heard that his father was insulted. So immediately he cursed that this no snake would bite him within seven days. So this news was brought, although the father, after his meditation was over, he was very. I'm sorry that such a great king has been cursed. Uh, so it's very very sorry, but what can be done? The Brahman boy's curse must be effective, that because in those days Brahmanas, even by caste, was very very strong in spiritual strength. So when Parikhit Maharaj. Was informed that he was to die within seven days. He accepted the curse. Yes, I was wrong. Prince Ali says, otherwise he could counteract. He was also very powerful, but he did not. And this is the history. So immediately he left his kingdom, family, children, and went to the bank of the Ganges. And sat down there, being prepared for the coming imminent death within seven days. So, because he was emperor of the world, so 
he was going to die, this news was spread, and all big, big men, great saintly persons, even demigods, they also came to see him. And he was asking everyone, what is my duty? <clears throat> so at that time, Sukhdev Goswami also arrived there. Sukhdev Goswami was a young boy, but Paramahansa. So he was received in that big assembly as the great personality of knowledge. Even his father, Bhaste, was present. So everyone stood up. His father also stood up to receive him. He was such a great personality. And then he was given a nice seat at the custom <coughs> to give advice to Maharaj Parikhet what was my duty. But Parikhet Maharaj was, from the beginning of his life, was a devote himself, a devotee of Lord Krishna. And he inquired whether I shall uh, devote or I shall absorb my mind with Krishna consciousness. Uh, because he was a devotee of Krishna, uh, many people gathered, they gave different advices. Maharaj, you do this at the time of death, and uh, do that, do this. So there are many big, big persons. He was perplexed. But he was a devotee of Krishna from the very beginning of his life, and thus he, he inquired whether it is better to absorb the mind in Krishna consciousness. This was his question. So, in answer to this question, Sukhdev Goswami replied, Bariyane Sati Prasna. My dear king, Bariyane Sati Prasna, Krito Loka Hitanga Nipa. Nipa, the king, address. My dear king, your inquiry is very glorified. Bhajyāne sati prasna krita loka yidam. Because on account of this question, whatever I shall reply, when he knew, the reply is this Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, question was about Krishna. And the reply is Srimad Bhagavatam, 18,000 verses. And each and every verse is so important that if a serious student studies each and every verse, each verse will take at least one month to understand. And there are 18,000 verses. So for serious study of Śrīmadha Bhāgavatam, it will take 18,000 months. So 18,000 months, many, how many years? 1,500 years. <laughs> it is such an important book, Śrīmadha Bhāgavatam. <coughs> Each verse is a new verse. Uh, not repetition of the same subject. And it is deeply thoughtful. And uh, every verse is, uh, as it is stated here, ātavit sammataha, approved by persons who are self-realized. Ātavit. Ātavit, ātva means self. And bit means one who knows. <clears throat> well uh, aware of self-realization. They are called ātma-bhīt. Uh, generally, people are uh, on ātma bit bodily conscious. Mass of people or class of people also hardly will find a person at the present moment ātma-bhīt. 
self-realized. Everyone is, I am this body. I am Indian, I am American, I am Canadian, I am Australian. I am white, I am black, I am Brahmana, I am Sudra, this way. I am this body. Atmavit means I am the self, I am the soul. Aham Brahmasmi. This is the Vedic word. If one understands that I am not this body, I am spirit soul, he is called Atmavit or he is liberated. He is not bodily conscious platform. Uh, there are three platforms of identification with self. Those who are grossly in ignorance, exactly like animals, just like a dog. A dog thinks that he is the body. He cannot think that he is not the body, he is the soul. That is not possible. Because he is born in such a body, he is entrapped in such a body, animal body, they cannot think that the animal, the cat and dog, is different from the body. But at the present moment, so many big, big scholars and professors and educationists, they are also the same category. As the dog is thinking, I am this body. He is also thinking, I am this body. And on this bodily concept, there are so many nations. And the big, big nation, they are only bodily concept of life, not Atmavit. Atmavit is different, that I am not this body, I am so. Aham Brahma. So, uh, Krishna Prasna, inquiry about Krishna and to understand Krishna means on the spiritual platform, Atmavit. That is not material body, a material platform. Material platform means I am this body, you are this body. So, Krishna is also like us. Krishna has a material body and he is like me. Abhajananti Maga Murha. Krishna should not be considered as ordinary being. Uh, we are worshipping Krishna in this temple, not an ordinary human being. Uh, but Krishna is so kind. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Anoranihāgamam He is greater than the greatest. And still he can become smaller than the smallest. That is his greatness. He can become, he can show jo, the virāta rūpa, the universal form. At the same time he can talk with Arjo as ordinary friend. This is Krishna. You have read Bhagavad Gita. He was talking on the chariot as his friend. But when there was need, he, Arjuna, wanted to see the universal form, and Krishna showed him that universal form, gigantic form, <coughs> everything including. So, uh, that Krishna is Atma, Paramatma, uh, and Bhagavan, and Brahma. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavaniti, Shabdati. So, Krishna Prasna means all including everything past, present, future, moving, not moving, uh, and big and small. This is Krishna understanding. Krishna understanding means uh, past, present, future, uh, small, large, moving, not moving. This is Krishna understanding. But everything is 
I, in either of these categories, uh, everything must be either in the past or at present or in future. So this is past, present and future. <coughs> and there are moving, uh, and just like we, we are animals or men or birds and beasts and insects or aquatics, we are moving. And there are not moving, just as the heaps, stones, the trees, plants, the grass, they do not move. But we are moving, so moving and moving. And we exist, past, present, future. And there is biggest, bigger than the biggest, the whole universe. Although you have got airships, you cannot go. Neither. Others, so many machines have been discovered. But go and see the... They cannot go into the moon planet, what to speak of others. Uh, therefore, it is very big for us. When we speak of universe, uh, we cannot think of. Uh, they, they simply calculate scientists by light year and this year, that year, the speed. But we cannot approach, even in this material world, and what to speak of Krishna. Krishna is in the spiritual world. We cannot calculate the length and breadth of this material world. Our knowledge is so imperfect and meager, and what we can understand of the spiritual world. The material world is manifestation of Krishna's one-fourth energy. And the three-fourth energy is manifested in the spiritual world. This is understanding of Krishna. Therefore, when one inquires about Krishna, he is very glorified. Therefore, he says, Bhriyane Sati Krishna. Bhriyane Sati Krishna Krito Lokahita. Because answer to this question will include everything and people will profit there, lokaitam. The seventy person duty is to do welfare to the people in general. That is seventy person. hitakarino Thirumane mannam saranyakaru. About the Goswamis, Saragoswami, it is stated that Nana Shastra Vichara Naika Nipano. The six Goswamis, they were very, very large scholars. Nana Shastra, various different scriptures. Vichara Naika Nipano, very expert in studying all the scriptures, scrutinizing. Nipuno, expert. This is the. I mean, this calculation of the Goswami. So why they are concerned about studying so many scriptures? Now, sadharma prachara. Nana shastra vichara naika nipuno sadharma samasthapako. Sadharma. Dharma means, the exact meaning of dharma is occupational duty. Uh, people have, in English they translate dharma as faith. Faith can be changed. I like this faith today, tomorrow I will like another faith. Uh, so actually the translation of dharma is not faith. It is occupational duty. So what should be our occupational duty? Sadharma. Sadharma means, sat means eternal. We are occupational duty. Now I am working uh, as American, or others working as Indian or German or Englishman, or this family man. They have, everyone has got some occupational duty. But this occupational duty, suppose I am working as American or European or Australian, this is temperate because this body is temporary. 
and I am in bodily concept of life. Therefore, my duty, so-called duty, is also temporary. As soon as the body is finished, I begin another chapter of duty. Uh, suppose this life, I am human being. Next life, I may not be human being. Uh, this uh, statement was not liked by the newspaper man. <laughs> he was told the next life you can become an animal. So he has published in my name, the Sami can become an animal. Also, the Sami can become also an animal. The so called Sami, they will become an animal. Uh, so that is not wrong. Uh, but we devotee, we are not afraid of becoming animal. Uh, our only ambition is that we become Krishna conscious. So the animal, the cows and calves, uh, were Krishna conscious. You have seen the picture of Krishna? Yes. yes. Uh, so better that we shall become animal of Krishna. <laughs> so there is nothing wrong. Even to become an animal of Krishna, that is also very worthy. Uh, that is not ordinary thing. Uh, Krishna is embracing. Krishna, you see the picture, Krishna is embracing. Surabhira vipalayantam chintamani prakara sadmasu kalpa vrikhala khabriti isu surabhira vipalayantam. Krishna he always tends the cows. His name is Cowherd Boy. To become animal of Krishna, it is a great, great fortune. It is not ordinary thing. Uh, any associate of Krishna, either his cow, her boyfriends, her calf, her cow, or the Vrindavan trees, plants, flowers, or water, uh, they are all devotees of Krishna. They like to serve Krishna in different capacities. <clears throat> somebody is serving Krishna as animal, somebody is serving Krishna as fruits and flowers, as tree, as jamuna water, or the beautiful cowherds, man, damsels, or Krishna's father, mother, so many things Krishna. Krishna is not in person. So he has got so many lovers. Krishna also loves them. Uh, so, uh, Krishna's another name is Pasupal. Pasupal of Ankaj. Uh, he is uh, man, man, tender of the animals. Uh, he takes pleasure in tending the cows. Surabhi. This is Surabhi cows, not, not this ordinary cows. Surabhi cows. Surabhi cows means you can milk the cow as many times as you like and as much milk as you like. That is Surabhi. <coughs> so, therefore, Sukhdev Goswami says, it is glorified question. You have inquired about Krishna. So, <coughs> about Krishna, then it is called Krishna Katha. Topics about Krishna. The topics or the instruction given by Krishna is the Bhagavad Gita. And the uh, topics about the activities of Krishna is Smadhavag. So, somehow or other, let us always discuss about Krishna. That should be the life of Krishna conscious people. So, this is life of Krishna, worshipping Krishna in the temple to sell Krishna's books, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, to think of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, to eat Krishna prasadam, to take all this for Krishna, to do work for Krishna, to fight for Krishna. 
He did not like to fight, but for Krishna's sake he fought. To fight for Krishna, work for Krishna, think of Krishna, eat the Krishna prasadam, talk for, of Krishna, read for Krishna. So Krishna, 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 Krishna. This is life. This is Krishna consciousness. So this is very glorified life. Here it is stated, the Bhriyane Sati Krishna, Krito Loko Hitanga Nipa. So, Atavit Sammato Pungsang, Sutubhyadi Suja Para. Para means the supreme, perfect. Uh, you are hearing the Srimad Bhagavatam about Krishna. This is, there, there are many subject matter of hearing. Just in newspaper, uh, you hear so many news. But uh, if you hear something about Krishna, uh, that is the only perfect thing. That news has been published in this morning, many people. Krishna, uh, the leader of the Krishna movement, or this Krishna, Hare Krishna movement, there is some vibration of the word Krishna. That makes the atmosphere purified, such a so many thousands and millions of people will read Krishna, <laughs> willingly or unwilling, they read Krishna. <laughs> that is their profit. Bhariyāne Sathya Krishna. Loka uh, Hidam. Immediately the one started the word Krishna, they become benefited. Uh, never mind what is the news, uh, you don't care for that. <laughs> but because they will utter the word Krishna, that is our profit. That is our profit for Krishna consciousness movement. Thank you very much. There is water. So chant Hare Krishna. Pertaining to the... One. Pertaining to the lecture, yes, Gopi Kanda? Srila Prabhupada, what is the exact benefit of a, a, per, a person just takes a Srimad Bhagavatam on the street and gives some donation to help out with printing costs or whatever? That is already explained. They read, they see the picture of Krishna. <coughs> Immediate profit is, they will ask, what is this picture? And you will say, Krishna. Or you say, it is Krishna, then it is Krishna. <laughs> From the beginning of the, uh, what is called Kava, the benefit begins. Because uh, the uttering the word Krishna is benefit. And then if he reads, of course if he pays for the book, he will read. So you give a chance to the person to know about Krishna. The life you can sublime. Uh, earlier you were speaking that Krishna means um, everything past, present, and future. Mm. And and everything, God. whatever you can think of, Krishna includes everything. Without Krishna, there is nothing. Because uh, take anything, take this table. This is a stone, but this stone is also Krishna. Hmm? We have read in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhumi Rāpana Lohvāyu Kangmana Buddhiri Vaja. Vinnāmi Prakriti Astadhā. Krishna said that these five gross material elements, earth, water, air, fire, ether, mind, intelligence and ego, <coughs> they are my separated energy. Uh, it's like I am speaking. Now this speaking recorded, when it will be replayed, the same sound will come. So that is my energy, but separate. I am not there, but still the vibration is exactly what I am speaking. <coughs> because these words are emanated from me. <coughs> Similarly, Krishna says that this earth is emanation of my energy. So therefore this earth, the stone is also earth, another form of earth. 
That will be this manifestation of Krishna's energy. That will be this Krishna. Energy and the energetic not dependent. Just like the sun is situated 93 million some miles away from you. But the sun sign as it as soon as it reaches your body, you understand what is sun. Heat and light. Immediately. Uh, that is Krishna consciousness. Uh, when one is learned about Krishna, whatever he sees, when he sees this stone, he also sees Krishna. Immediately remember, the stone is manifestation of the uh, energy of Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. Nothing is different from Krishna. <clears throat> this is Krishna consciousness. When one understands that everything is manifestation of Krishna, Krishna's energy is exactly the same. Just like the fire is situated somewhere, but the fire uh, exhibits or demonstrates its energy. The light and heat. All the fire is far away. Just like the sun is far, far away. But still, by sun's light and heat, he spread all over the universe. Similarly, Krishna, by his two energies, material energy and spiritual energy, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhumi rāpanalo vāyo karmano buddhiriva vinnāme prakriti astadhā aparāyam itasthu vidhimi prakritiṁ parā jīva bhūta mahāvāho jayedam dhārjati jaga. So there are two energies, exactly like heat and light. One the spiritual energy and the other is material energy. The material energy is inferior energy and the Spiritual energy is the superior energy. What is the spiritual energy? Jiva Bhuta, this living entity. The living entity is superior because it is controlling the inferior energy matter. This is very scientific. This is not sentiment. Everything in Krishna consciousness is scientific. Simply one requires the brain to understand. Then, when he understands, he will see Krishna in everything. Uh, that is stated in the Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Sthavar jangam dakhe nadakhe tar murti. When a devotee, advanced devotee, sees something, he does not see the formation of that thing. He sees the energy. A highly advanced devotee will not see the stone. He immediately will think of Krishna. Oh, Krishna is so powerful that his energy is exhibited in stone. Therefore, he does not see stone. He sees only Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness, perfection. Tabar Jangam Dake Nadake Tar Murti Charvatra Spure Tar Ishtadeva Murti. Everywhere he sees Krishna. Nothing but Krishna. That is Krishna. Mm-hmm. Mr. Prabhupada, you spoke of inferior energy and superior energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are two general categories. Are there other categories of energy besides that? And specifically, how could we uh, understand uh, Srimati Radharani? Is she. She is uh, spiritual energy. But is she Jiva Bhuta or? No, no. She is Krishna. If everything is Krishna, Radharani is not Krishna. What is it? Krishna. He is Krishna. He is the, she is the Krishna's pleasure potential. She is not Jiva. No, no. She is Krishna. Krishna divided himself into his energy and himself. That energy, original spiritual energy, is Radharani. 
that is stated by Jiva Goswami. Mm, yes. Radha Krishna Pranaya Vrikiti Allhadini Shakti Rasma. When Krishna wants pleasure, he cannot accept the inferior energy. The same superior energy, Krishna, is divided into two, that is Radha and Krishna. And again they, when they unite, that is Chaitanya. Uh, divided the Radha and Krishna and united Chaitanya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nohe Onno. Onno means another. Uh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya is combination of Radha and Krishna. And when they are divided into two, that is Radha and Krishna. This is the purport. Radha Krishna Pranaya Vrgiti Alladini Shakti Rasma Ekatmanam Api Deho Vedu Gato To Sri Chaitanya Kha Prakatam Aduna Tadvayam Chekkam Aptam These are the conclusions. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha Krishna combination. But he is playing the part of Radharani to understand Krishna. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One more question. Mm. Um, if Krishna is everywhere, um, why do we stress the importance of um, living a very strict life in the temple atmosphere? But have you got the eyes to see Krishna everywhere? Then you must attention, give to temple. When you have got the eyes to see Krishna everywhere, you may not require temple. Also. But why do you try to imitate them? You have no eyes to see them. That's it. So probably you mentioned <coughs> Yes. You mentioned three states of identification. One was like the animal. What were the other two? Mm-hmm. One was to identify with the body as the self, like the animal. And then you mentioned, you said there were oh, three yes. altogether. Bodily conception, mental con- conception, and spiritual conception. When one is ignorant, he is like animal. When he is farther advanced, he is a philosopher. And when he is are there in one? Is it you? These are the three different stages. Like animal, like philosopher, and like devotee. So when you think like devotee, that is perfect. And when you think that I am American, I am Indian, that is animal. So it is according to the advancement of one's life, uh, there are three stages, animal conception, mental conception, and spiritual conception. The spiritual conception is perfect, all perfect. Mm, Krishna Prashtaya Krishna Prashtaya